I put on my legionary armor again to talk about the pronunciation and grammar of Latin in a video game. Let's talk about Caesar in Civilization VI. I'm Luke, and this is Polymathy. Ego Caesar. Caesar? Like Caesar Millán? I rehabilitate dogs. I train people. As my friend Metatron would say, not off to a good stop, mate. I have no idea what this voice actor is doing with the name Caesar. As I explained in this video, there is more than one way to pronounce this name, but Caesar is not consistent with the pronunciation system that he's using, which is, of course, the ecclesiastical pronunciation because, if you couldn't tell, this voice actor is Italian. Ego Caesar. I rehabilitate Latin, I train people. If you were using classical pronunciation, it should be Caesar. To be consistent with the rest, it needs to be Caesar. Of course, we need to mention that ecclesiastical pronunciation has nothing to do with the sound of Latin in antiquity during the Roman Empire or Republic. See my video here for more. Qui alpibus senatoque coniurationes equaliter extinguit. All the typical phonetic problems that Italians have when speaking Latin are here, like albibus sena, so the extra schwa syllable being added between the two s's instead of just saying albibus sena. Now I'm stopping myself because the next word isn't a word, it's senato, but it needs to be senatui, I think, assuming that the writer actually knew anything about Latin grammar, which appears to be little, because if they're not using the fourth declension, I don't feel good about the rest of what's to come. Cupidus, ante a me capere me cupis. Plaudo. Naturally, this voice actor who doesn't know Latin and doesn't speak Latin, obviously, he's just a great Italian voice actor, I'm sure, he isn't observing phonemic vowel length. Phonemic vowel length is, of course, mandatory in any Latin pronunciation, including ecclesiastical, because the grammar is based on that. So not doing so is merely a matter of convention. It doesn't actually have to do with the real Latin language. Ante a me capere me cupis. So he's trying to say, you seek to conquer me before I move on you. Okay, this is just not how you would say that in Latin. I'm not sure what he's trying to say. If it's ante a me capere me cupis, or ante a me capere me cupis, in either version, it's not Latin because it doesn't make any sense. Plaudo. The plaudo is fine, though. I want to emphasize that this is not the fault of the voice actor. This is simply some guy they hired. Apparently, whoever makes this video game, I don't play this video game, by the way. If you enjoy Civilization VI, that's fantastic. I hope you have a great time with it. But there are tens of thousands of fluent speakers of Latin in the world and hundreds of thousands of qualified teachers, translators, students who have done more than a month could easily have done better translations than what are here. I even think Google Translate is better right now than whatever this is supposed to be. Cupidus. Ante a me capere me cupis. Plaudo. So the fault doesn't lie with the voice actor. He simply needs someone who knows something about Latin phonology, which I actually did here with actual Italian voice actors, in order to be able to pronounce this correctly. Another problem is that, in general, he doesn't actually emphasize the right words in the right way that actually makes sense. He's probably reading an English or Italian translation of whatever it is he's supposed to say, so he has some sense of the intonational pattern of the prosody in either English or Italian, and is applying that, and it does not make sense with Latin. Alea iacta est. This Latin sentence is perfect because they didn't write it. It's from antiquity. The die is cast, a famous line apparently uttered by Caesar before crossing the Rubicon with the 13th Legion. Check out my Latin podcast, Legio Tertia Decima. And I'd almost say this sentence is fine except for the fact that the emphasis is wrong. Alea iacta est. Est? ought not to be emphasized, because alia yacta est means the die is cast. The die, oh, it is cast. Alea yacta est. It is cast. Why is it cast? Instead of doing the actual natural correct intonation, which would be alia yacta est. In fact, the first letter of the est, the letter E here, would normally be protolided away. Protolision is the name for that. Yaktast. That would be much more natural. Victor Scopie, Victor Ducende. Yet again, we have to teach this Italian how to do the traditional Italian or ecclesiastical pronunciation. Victor Ducende. He says, Victor Ducende? 
He sounds Greek because NT often sounds like just a slightly nasalized D or D sound in modern Greek phonology, which is very interesting. But I'm pretty sure he's Italian and not Greek. He must have just read it wrong or maybe didn't care. It's ducente, not ducente or whatever it is he said. And the other word is victori or victori in a classical pronunciation. So in classical pronunciation, this ought to be victorest copiae victori ducente or in ecclesiastical, victorest copie victori ducente. Victores copie victori ducente. The problem is that this, again, is not Latin because it's meaningless. The word copiae or copie is used incorrectly. The word for troops in the nominative as the subject form is copiae. It's plural almost all of the time. So this should be something like victor copiarum or victor copies, whatever the translator had in mind here. The English, which has the actual meaning of whatever he's trying to say, is a victorious army is one led by a victor, which is exercitus vincens a victore ducitur. There are many other ways it could be translated. That's just the first thing that comes to my head. Just saying what comes into the top of my head. I'm really and truly baffled how this sentence got in here. I can only assume an older version of Google Translate before it got semi-good at doing anything in Latin. Periculum adito tuo est, et tu nil facis. I think that tu nil facis actually sounds great. Sounds like perfectly fine ecclesiastical Latin. I would like, you know, some vowel length considered. Et tu nil facis. I have the shorter a in facis, but I, is what I would prefer. But otherwise, at least that phrase, I heard it, it made sense to me. I could respond to it as a Latin speaker and be like, ah, tu nil facis. Like, we dicis men nil facere. You know, I could respond to that. It makes sense to me. He could have also said nikil. That's another variant in ecclesiastical pronunciation to make the H K sound in words like nikil and miki. Just a variant, though. Periculum adito tuo est. He does, however, say est with this extra emphasis, uh, because that's what you do in English or Italian, but not in Latin, because often the verb, in this case is, is at the end of the phrase, and therefore isn't going to get emphasized. I would say periculum adito tuo est, or tuost, if that were Latin, but sadly, again, this is not Latin. Why? Because the word adito does not exist. Periculum adito tuo est. There is the word Aditu, which is the ablative form of aditus, meaning entrance or going into. More likely, though, based on the context of this phrase, which is supposed to be the danger lies at your very doorstep. I might say periculum ante am yaket or periculum ante am te manet, something like that, just to be a little bit more, I don't know, idiomatically sensible. But if this is attempting to use the dative case, which is what I think is going on, it needs to be aditui because it's, of course, a fourth declension noun. If you want to learn more about declensions and how best to learn them, I talk about my advice here. No comment, I suppose. Since the game didn't bother to offer translation and meno male, as we say in Italian, I will. And he says, you have a pale and hungry look. That would be mihi wideris pallidu sete suriens. Tu quoque? Nam Cesar ruat. I just noticed this while editing. Look at the English. Et tu. Which has been translated tu quoque. So, good idiomatic Latin was translated into another form. Tu quoque is fine, but <laughs> this was perfect. Why? I don't understand what this is doing. Tu quoque, fine, except for the extra long o in quoque. Tu quoque would be better, but hey, I'll take it. At least that's Latin. Tu quoque, nam Cesar ruat. So nam Cesar, hey look, he pronounced it correctly in ecclesiastical pronunciation. Or nam Caesar ruat, so ruo, ruere is a third conjugation verb, and ruat would be the subjunctive. Does this mean for Caesar should go to ruin? I don't know what this is trying to say. But instead of trying to learn Latin from video games like this, why not learn with this video sponsor, the Ancient Language Institute? With the Ancient Language Institute, you can get to be a fluent reader of Latin. With ALI, your teacher will be speaking to you in Latin on the first day of the course, and soon after, you will be responding to your teacher 
in Latin. And that's why ALI exists, to change the way ancient languages are taught, to make them more like living languages instead of focused on grammar translation. Being able to think of the language makes you a better reader. Beginner-level cohorts for Latin and Greek start this summer, and registration for the summer term closes May 13th. ALI offers courses from beginner to advanced in Latin, ancient Greek, Hebrew, and now even Old English. That's right. The language of the Anglo-Saxons, the predecessor to Middle and Modern English, is now taught at the Ancient Language Institute. See my interview with the ALI Old English professor here. And in August of this year, ALI is hosting a full immersion Ancient Greek Bible Camp in Eugene, Oregon. For more information, go to ancientlanguage.com. Thanks so much to ALI for supporting this video. And now my final thoughts on whatever this is supposed to be. So we have game makers wanting to put Latin and other ancient languages into their games. I think this is wonderful. Blaudo, as we heard, which that was fine. That was actually some of the Latin sentences that worked in what we heard today. Blaudo. So that is great. I highly encourage that. That's a fun thing. I don't play those video games, but I think that it's a wonderful way to expose people to the language. But when it is so easy to find somebody who is minimally competent in translating into Latin, you should find one of those people. Don't depend on Google Translate or an artificial intelligence thing. Use someone who actually knows the language, ideally someone who speaks it, even someone who, you know, actually does this for a living. It doesn't have to be me. It doesn't have to be me. But, you know, if you want it, I have a business email on the YouTube channel. You can find it. It doesn't have to be me, though. There are so many qualified people, and I know quite a few, actually, if you want more than one voice, so... Just, just just, let me know. I'm here. We do good work. And like I said, since I don't play these video games, if you do, then write a polite letter or email or however you can to the people who make this game or others where I've critiqued the Latin and let them know that there's problems with the Latin. And maybe with that kind of constructive criticism, people in charge of it will realize that, oh, we got this disconnect. We tried to get someone. Who knows? I have no idea where this Latin could have come from. I'm not trying to put anyone down. Again, not the voice actor. The voice actor simply needs to to learn what's going on. It's not his responsibility to write the words. Whoever the words came from, I don't know. That person clearly needs a lesson from the Ancient Language Institute. You may like these other videos where I've critiqued Latin and Ancient Greek in video games. Thanks again to ALI for the support and to each and every one of my Patreon supporters who get hundreds of hours of Latin audiobooks from me. So really appreciate it. And here are the people that make this video possible. Walete. Random.